Hey everybody, Eric here from Around To It RC, and I've got another plane I want to show you today. Now this one comes from FlyZonePlanes.com, and it's called the Switch RC Airplane. And the really neat thing about this plane is that it's actually two planes in one. Now if you look on this side of the box, it shows a high wing trainer, and in just a few quick seconds, it transforms into a Sport Flyer plane. Now, isn't that great? Well, I'm really excited to try this one out, so let's go take it over to the work table and unbox this bad boy. Okay, everything that was in the box for the Switch RC Airplane is now on the table. And this plane is set up with a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, which I think is pretty cool. The only thing that you have to supply is the four AA batteries for the transmitter, and you're ready to go. And since we got everything laid out on the table now, let's take a look at the small parts. Okay, right here, you've got the landing gear for the plane. It's made out of a lightweight metal. You've also got the foam wheels. You have the landing pants right here for the wheels. And you've got the prop and the spinner right here. And a couple of more items to look at. A small parts bag right here. And you've got two carbon fiber rods for the wings. Alright, well that's pretty much the small parts list. Let's take a look at the plane and the wings real quick. All right, now if you notice, the decals are already on it, which is pretty neat. And the aileron servos are already installed in the wings. It's ready to go. So that uh, speeds up the assembly process that much more. I'm liking that already. Here's your tail wing assembly right here. It's got magnets on the, the tail wing and a carbon fiber rod right here for quick assembly. Another neat feature of the plane. And here's the main fuselage right here. Now, let's uh, pull the camera in close, take a look at that. This is really neat. The, there's a couple of neat features about this plane that I want to talk to you about real quick. First off, let's take a look at the cowl. Now, on the cowl, usually the cowl is held, uh, held to the plane with screws. This one is held on with magnets for quick access to the motor, which is pretty neat. And that is a Super Tiger uh, Power 10 motor. Pretty awesome. That should give the plane plenty of power. Let's put that back on. Now let's take a look at the canopy real quick. Now this canopy is uh, the canopy that you would use for the high wing, or not the high wing, but the, the, the Sport Flyer model, where you would put the, uh, the wings here. This was where the carbon fiber rod would go for the Sport Flyer model. Now to make this the high wing one, we would take this canopy off, and we're gonna put this canopy on real quick, and then the planes would attach to the upper section of this canopy and make it a high wing trainer. So in just a couple of quick changes right there at the flying field, you should be able to go from a high wing trainer to a sport model uh, just like that. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. We're going to go to the flying field and try the high wing first, then we're going to go to the sport model. So let me put that back down. I got a couple of more things I want to show you. Then I'm going to put the, the plane together off camera and we're going to go to the flying field. Let's take a look at the battery. Now the battery is an 1800 milliamp hour three cell 11.1 .1 volt lipo battery with a 15c discharge now the really cool thing about uh, the this setup is you got the lipo battery but the charging system that's what i think is really cool about this plane uh, and uh, my hats off to uh, fly zone and hobby co for doing this the other hobby company should uh, take a look at this you've got your balancing charger right here that comes with your adapter to charge at the field by plugging it into your cigarette lighter and it comes with the AC DC adapter to charge at home with so you can charge this as either at home or you can charge it at the field and all this came with the plane uh, together the ready to fly version so I thought that was pretty cool I'm really enjoying that kudos to you this is a big plus to me on this plane all right uh, also, of course, you shouldn't leave this out, the manual. You should read the manual before you uh, go out to the flying field. Make sure you got everything set up per the, the manual with all the th throws. And that's pretty much about it in a nutshell, what comes in the box for the Switch RC Airplane. I'm going to assemble this thing off camera as the high wing trainer first. And then we're going to go to the flying field and give it a shot. And while we're there, we're going to swap it over to the sport model also. So we'll see you at the flying field in just a second. Eric, this is the tower. You were clear for takeoff. Okay. 
Okay, I've made a few passes around the field now and I've got all the trims set up to my liking. The plane's flying pretty good. I'm going to make a pass right here in front of the camera and then we're going to try a loop. Nice loop. I'm really enjoying this plane so far. Okay, the loop felt pretty comfortable, so let's try a roll. Pretty sweet. Alright, how about a loop and then a roll at the bottom of the loop? Loop. And roll. Pretty awesome. All right, I put the plane through its paces a little bit with loops and rolls. I'm gonna make another pass by the camera here. And I wouldn't try this next uh, maneuver for a beginner pilot, but I just had to test the plane out to make sure it would do it and handle it well. So let's try a little bit of inverted flying. All right, I'm really satisfied with the trainer plane flying inverted here. Although that's not a maneuver for a beginner pilot, you can see the plane will handle it and handle it very well. All right, let's try a touch and go. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, I'm satisfied with this plane as a high wing trainer, so let's bring it on in for a landing. All right, let's show you how easy it is to change this plane from a trainer plane to a sport model plane. First, remove the screw that holds the canopy on. Then, disconnect the aileron servo wires from the receiver. And then you're gonna remove the wings from the trainer canopy and install them on the plane. There's no screws to remove or put back in when you install the wing. That's right, these wings are held together by strong magnets. All right, after installing the wings on the plane fuselage, you need to reconnect the aileron servo wires to the receiver. And lastly, you install a canopy for the sport model and you're ready to go. So let's get this bad boy up in the air and see what the sport model does. Eric, this is the tower. You were clear for takeoff. Okay, I'm trimming the plane out right now and getting a feel for it. And once I get comfortable, we're going to try some loops and rolls and see what this bad boy will do. Alright, let's try a loop and then a roll. Loop and a roll. Very nice. All right, let's do a little knife edge. Nice. Now for some inverted flying. Oh yeah, looking pretty good inverted right now. I'm really impressed with the Switch as a sport model and having fun with it right now, can't you tell? Well, as a sport model, I'm really impressed with it so far. Let's do some snap rolls and spin dives and see how it likes that. All right, let's try another spin dive. This one's gonna be a little bit closer to the ground. All right, check that out, that's pretty cool.
<laughs> okay, let's try touch and go. Perfect. All right, well, I'm really satisfied with this plane. Let's bring it on in for a landing. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's the switch airplane by FlyZone. Now let's go back to the workshop and talk about the plane. Well, that was the double maiden flight of the Switch RC airplane, and you can get this airplane through FlyZonePlanes.com. Remember, we first flew it as a high wing trainer. That was using this canopy right here. You attach it to the plane here, and the wings go on the upper half of the canopy, which makes it a high wing trainer. And as you saw earlier in the video, with just a, a quick change around, a different canopy, and the wings um, uh, actually mount to the fuselage of the plane, now you've got a sport trainer. Now, to me, that's pretty awesome. You've got two planes in one. One, if you're just starting out as a beginner RC pilot, the high wing trainer, and then as you progress through and get better, you can change it over to the Sport Flyer model, which I really enjoyed that one better myself because that's where my abilities are. I like to fly 3D, so this version of the plane is more to my liking. But for you, this is actually two planes in one, start off as a trainer model, then advance to the Sport Flyer model and try some 3D maneuvers. Now I'd like to make one little addendum to the video uh, earlier. I said that you needed to supply four AA batteries for the transmitter. Well, duh. They were in the box. I just didn't see them. So really, this is a truly ready-to-fly RC airplane right out of the box. You don't need anything else to get this bad boy up in the air. And with the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, you don't have to worry about interfering with anybody else at the field. So just go out and have a great time with this plane, just like I did. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video review of the Switch RC airplane. Remember, you can get it from flyzoneplanes.com. I'm glad you got to see me again, and we'll see you later on the tube, okay? To keep my voice off of that during the middle of it, I'll tell you if I don't get the pass, okay? okay. That way you don't have to ask. I'll tell you I didn't get it. Okay. I'm recording. All right, hang on, I lost it. All right, there we go. I missed that. I zoomed in beforehand. I thought I was going the other way. I got some of it, and I lost it. Oh, man, I lost you. Oh, I lost it, man. How long does it take you to put together a video like this? Switch. Take 42. Take, take 45. <laughs> the switch. Take 45. <laughs>